Alright, hello everyone, and welcome to my little tutorial on how to make this really cool spiral effect. Um, to start off, you click, um, open up a new frame, and it should be a square. Um, perfect square, as perfect as you can get it anyway. And, um, I'm doing a thousand by thousand because my screen is that big. I have an HDTV for screen, it's really cool. Anyway, so you go filters, render, clouds, cell and noise. You check the t randomize and turbulent and turn the detail about to 3. And leave the X and Y sizes alone. And then you do that and then you go again to filters, render, clouds. Only this time you do different clouds. Um, Just keep the settings like that. Randomize, turbulent, don't uncheck or recheck anything else. And then what you do is you go to colors, layers and you do this to about 1.8 I'm gonna do 1.71 just to spice things up a little and then turn this down to around 180 like I said spice of life anyway so once you've got to those settings, okay. The point of this is to boost some of the brighter colors while not altogether getting rid of the black. Then what you do is you go to filters, blur, motion blur. And you want to do zoom, length around 60, and then you want it to be in the very center of your image. So for the rest that would be 500 by 500. But yeah, just calculate the center. That's why doing a square is so much easier than, say, doing another image. And you do OK. And motion blurring takes kind of a long time. So we'll let that do its thing. Then what you do is you go to Filters, Distorts. And I just barely did that smoking skull effect thing. So I would normally do Iowar because he used it so much in that tutorial. And I used it a lot too. So I did Whirl and Pinch. Then what you do is you whirl and pinch it by around 160, and click OK. This takes a lot less longer than the other thing. Alright, then you go over and you duplicate that layer, and then you take that and go filters, reshow, whirl, and pinch. And this time you blur it by around negative 400. And then it'll do its little whirling and pinching thing. And this is the part where it really starts to look like the actual tornado thing. You click on the top layer that's going the other way, and you click Lighten Only, and then it adds these. And so you can click Flatten Image, and I'm not entirely sure what that does, but it merges the layers together. Anyway, so you go to Colors, and to Color you go to Curves and the color that I did was I went on green kind of turned it down to a purplish tinge and then I went colors curves should probably cancel that colors curves green then you go to blue do around the same thing And that gives you this kind of nice swirling effect. All right, this has been Scape 9878 um, on GIMP Know How's website. I'm known as the Dark Illusionist. Um, you should go over it's GIMPKnowHow.com and sign up if you haven't already. It's really fantastic. Thank you. This is Scape 9878 slash the Dark Illusionist. Thank you and good night.